Okay, Baruch Hashem, I thank Hashem that we came back safely to our home and to our wonderful shul here in the Agudis Yisrael Be'ezev of Fairways Lakewood. And uh, we, uh, we have tonight a special sponsorship, Yitzi Muller, who is watching now from the Holy Land, and uh, he's sponsoring tonight uh, uh, Ili Nishmas, uh, Aaron Yaakov, Ben Chaim Nachman, again, uh, Aaron Yaakov, Ben Chaim Nachman, Neshama should have an aliyah, should be a male tzioysher for his family, for all of us and all of Klai Yisrael. We are also sponsored by Shalom Fogel, Ilan Nishmas, Rabbi Yaakov Zeb, and Rabbi Da'ayah, Mar Srifka, Bas Rabbi Yaakov Yosef, Mar Sivya Miriam, Bas Rabbi God, Rabbi Yosef Ben Siyam, Ben Rabbi Yaakov Zeb, by Baruch Ian, Lila Nishmas, Yaakov Chaim Ben Abba, Esther Bas Gittel, Avram Ben Shmuel Akayin, by Yaakov Yemanski, Akos Atoyv, to the Rav and the Zoom family, and Nachos from children and grandchildren, A.B. Spry, for Nachos from children and grandchildren, Ed Salah from London, and Joshua Rosenberg, a virtual Talmud. We um, want to welcome in over here Saba and Irving Fishbaum, Mo Kushner, Chaim Kramer, Dr. Block, Israel Fisher, Aaron Swade, Shelley Zeitlin, A.B. Spry, Dr. Guy, Marshall Castle, Baruch Ian, Yisrael Mayor Kaplan, Ruven Pollock, Shalom Fogel, Moshe Lehman, Eddie Chazan, Nachman Chapler, Yitzi Muller, Ilya Shutman, Avram Rezepkowitz. Avram, we miss you over here. Your seat is ready for you and beckoning to you. Um, and uh, we welcome in David Helfgott on Kalalashin. I already made a bracha. Here in the shul, great to have Jack Silverman with us in person. We put over there hard acting cement so that uh, <laughs> Ruven Shannet back from Eretz Yisrael, uh, and he gets a Mazel Tov as having another grandchild, Mazel Tov, and Rich Lenner and Berish Gesseman and Gedalia Engel, who's given me a curfew tonight. Uh, and um, we. Uh, we are holding uh, the bottom line of the Afchaf Beis. I mean, Beis, we were talking about Grama ben Yizak and causative damage. So Rav Yosef Havalei Hano Tale. Rav Yosef had these uh, young date palms. Tale are, uh, are uh, like date palm saplings. So he had these date palms. And what happened was, is also Umne. This was a good spot for blood letters to come, the Yosve to Sayu, and they plied their trade. They let blood under the date palms. The Asa Urve, and what happened was, is crows, or ravens, to those that know the Urve as a raven, more popularly called uh, by Otsko lately in the last two decades as crows. The Asa Urve. And they consumed the blood, and then they were shooed away. And they went up and they smeared the blood on the dates. It's interesting. Today, smeared people's blood, though there would be blood. Well, forget about it, you know. But uh, in the mice, is, it, it uh, smeared the, the dates with blood. Or mifsede tamre and caused a loss to the dates. So Amalu Rabbi Yosef, so Rabbi Yosef said to them, you know, apikuli kurker mahacha, take get up, get up, get these crows out of here. In other words, uh, uh, you know, go and do your bloodletting somewhere else. Amalei Abayis, so Abayis said v'hagramu, it's only causative. Amalei Achi Amar Rav Tumi v'Masa Zayisay Meres Grama Benizak and Asa causative. Damaged by Nizak and his Asr. Says, They already had a Chazaka <coughs> to do their bloodletting blood in this place, and therefore you can't ask them to move. Says, That you can't have a presumptive status when it comes to doing something that is of a damaging nature. 
says the Gemara, but Velav Itmer Allah, did we not say on this reservation that Rav Mariyama Bekutra, it's only a serious damage like smoke damage, well Rav Zivadama Beisakise, if it's an outhouse that gives a terrible stink, Amalei, so Rav Yaisu said, I'll never touch a date that has somebody's blood on it. So Hani, the blood damage, Lididi, for me, Danina Datoi, that I'm very fastidious, Kikutro Beisakise Domili, it's as serious as smoke or an outhouse, and therefore you cannot develop a chazak. Now the new Mishnah, <coughs> just getting on the way, and uh, we, it's great to have 26 Zoomers over here, if you notice, uh, our Hassan Danan, Michal Avram, is, uh, who's usually very regularly here in Shul, we're giving him a pass because it's, uh, you know, three days before the wedding, so he has a, a, some kind of an excuse that He's a little busy, you know. Okay, we'll give you a little excuse, Michal. So oh, don't, don't try it again, you know. You know what I mean? um, <coughs> now, Marchikin um, es hashoyvech min ha'ir, you have to distance your dove coat from the city, chamish mama, 50 amas. Because the doves will uh, come and uh, eat things in the city. So you have to distance your dove cut from the city 50 amas. You cannot make a dove coat on your own property. Unless there's 50 amas in every direction. Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda says, Base our boss, Kurin. You need to have an area of four kur, meaning a kur in each direction. A kur, by the way, is the uh, same as a parsa. A parsa is uh, 8,000 amas, or what we know as four mil, approximately two and a half miles, which is the mole sheger hayayna, which is uh, the full sprint of a dove. In other words, in, in one shot, it will go... Uh, a, a, ba- a base cur. However, the imlakhu, if rich, buys the dove coat, then a filo base raiva, even if he has an area of a just a quarter of a calf, and that's uh, I think one seven hundred and twentieth of a cur, uh, but it was grandfather grandfather closed in, it was already had a chazaka for it to be there, then Harihu uh, Becheskasa, he keeps that presumptive status and he could keep it there. So right away the Gemara says, is it enough 50 amas? Chamishim amav esulai? Verminu, ein person nish bin liyavanim. You can't, liyavanim, not liyavanim, it's not Hanukkah. Ein person nish bin liyavanim. I'm just checking if everybody is awake. You know, I say, Shelley says, what am I doing? I'm trapping the Syrian Greeks? No, no, no you're right, Shelley. It's not Yavanim, it's Yainim. But, um, you can't spread out traps for doves. Unless you're away from the settled area, 30 ris. Now, 30 ris is a lot more than, uh, that it's, a lot, it's a lot more than 50 amma. So, uh, what's going on? Um, what do I do with these? Oh, um, put it up your nose. Um, now, uh, the, uh, the Gemara tells us, Amar Abaya, so Abaya says, you know, doves, Travel far, meishet shaitei tuva. So you can't set your nets up because you're going to catch a, a, a dove that's flying from the city. But they fill their bellies within fifty amas, meishet shaitei tuva. But kreisayu bechamishim amsa malya. They fill their bellies in fifty amas. So therefore, 
we were worried that the doves will eat from other people's property, so if it's 50 amas away, you don't have to worry about it. But it says the Gemara, they only uh, travel 30 ris and that's all. Vatanya we learned, if it's a, uh, if, if it's in a domestic area, you can't spread nets even for a hundred mil. So you see that they travel further than 30 ris. Says the Gemara of Yosef, I'm a Beish of Kromim. It's talking about if it's in an area where there's a lot of vineyards. So if it's an area where there's a lot of vineyards, so the, 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 if the dove has a place to rest, then it could travel even a hundred mil. Rava, I'm a Beish of Shoifchen. It's in an area where there was a um, group of dovecoats. So it stops to rest at other dovecoats. So then the Gemara says, but if there are other do- dovecoats, so then you have to stay away from those dovecoats. Why do you have to stay there it's even if it's 100 mil? From a further dovecoat, if there's a series of dovecoats, you have to stay away because of the closer dovecoats. The Tefik Leib Mishim Shoifchen Gufayu, because of the closer dovecoats. Ibai Yasemi Didei, no, the other dovecoats that were closer was his own dovecoats. So you wouldn't have to worry about them. But because there's a dovecote further away that's not his, and they could stop by his dovecotes, so therefore he can't put the nets even 100 mil. The Ibai is saying with the Knani, the closer dovecotes belong to Goyim, which he didn't have to worry about. The Ibai is saying with the Hefker, or the closer dovecotes were abandoned dovecotes, so he didn't have to worry about them. But since the dovecote that's 100 mil away will get to reach his by having all these stops, therefore he can't put up the nets. Rabbi Yudai Mebeis Abbas Kurin, an area for Kur, as we welcome in Stephen Holtzman. And uh, we just had now our 30th Zoomer of the evening, uh, which is very exciting. Honorated Menachem Yemansky has joined us uh, uh, on this uh, 30th Zoomer of the... Uh, Okay, and uh, we just have Yitzi Fuchs dialing in my phone. Okay, that's good. Uh, that's 31. Um, I'm going to pop up. The same Rav Zvid. Zeus Aymeres. The Gemara says that where rich buys a dovecoat, this proves... Toyanin l'loikeach v'toyanin l'yoyrish. Now this is an interesting halacha of the cheskas gimel shanim. As we're going to learn extensively in the third parak. Uh, once Gedalia occupies a land for three years, I, the original owner of the land, can't say, Gedalia, get out of my land. Because he has a chazaka of three years. And he doesn't even have to pre- produce paper. He doesn't even have to pre- produce a shtar. Because he doesn't have to hold the paper longer than three years. Only thing is, is that the chazaka helps. Only it's a, it's a chazaka sheyesh batayna. Gedalia has to say, Rabbi Weiss, I bought it from you. Or he has to say, Rabbi Weiss, I got it from you as a gift. If he says, Rabbi Weiss, I'm here. I said, Gedalia, it's my land. But I'm here. I'm here. I'm here doesn't mean anything. Why are you here? If he doesn't have a claim, then he has to get out. However, if he bought it from someone, and that person had it three years, Gedalia doesn't have to say how that other person got it. The fact that he bought it from somebody that had three years, that's enough. He doesn't have to have a time. Or if he inherited it from someone, he doesn't have to have uh, 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 the, the one who inherits it. If the father had it for three years, the one that inherits it doesn't have to say how the father got it. So the Gemara says over here, Rich bought this... Uh, this dovecote, 
that only has a quarter of a cab around it on every direction. He doesn't have to know how, why it was bought there. He doesn't have to say, well, it's because the owner that I bought it from uh, pacified the neighbors, or the neighbors, uh, he paid money from the neighbors. He doesn't have to know. I'm a puppy, he's saying, 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 I'm a puppy, he's that uh, we make a taina for the buyer and we make a taina for the Irish. So the Gemara says, Irish? Tanina. That's a Ferish Mishnah. Habam Yishim Yerusha. Yoshim, that inherits something, ain't a tzarek taina. They don't have to know uh, why the, their father had it. The father had it for three years. They don't have to know why the father had it. So the Gemara says, Lekeach it's trichalei. We needed to tell you that we do a taina for the lekeh. Says the Gemara, lekeh nami tanina. Lokachotzer, if let's say Shelley bought a courtyard and a buzzies in the gusterize, and in it are projections, flagpoles sticking out from it into the Rishus Rabin. Or balconies sticking out into the Rishus Rabbim. Harry Zebecheskasa. He doesn't have to know that the one who he bought it from, you know, got permission from the Rishus Rabbim. Or when he made it, it was on his property, and then he gave over some of the property to the Rishus Rabbim. So the Gemara says, Sricha, the Iashmin on Hasim Gabi Rishus Rabbim. Because over there by the Rishus Rabbim, the Amar, we say that probably. The one that he bought it from, he built the house on his own property and stuck out the balcony and later gave the area underneath the balcony to the Rishas Rabbin. Inami or else, the public allowed him to use it. But in, in our case, where uh, Rich has a dove coat, and he only has uh, an area of uh, mm, of a quarter of a cab in every direction, and his private property all around. I might say we don't say that. The Ashmin Hacha, the cave in the Yachid, who since the area around it is private property, aim a piuse paise, the one that he bought it from, appeased the individuals. Inami achule achul gabe, or the neighbors around said it's okay. I will rob him, but uh, if it's a public, man pious, you know, by the public, who is there to pacify? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's the public. Or man shavik, and who is there to say it's okay? Amaloi, I might say that uh, you you can't continue to keep the projections projecting into the rishus rabim. Sricha that you're allowed to. Says the Gemara, Ari Hubaches Kasai. Says the Gemara, what do you mean? It's a, it's a damage because riches, doves are now going to go and eat other people's property. The Amr of Nachman, Amr of Avavu, ain't Chazakal and Nizakin. There's no damage, there's no Chazakal for something that's a damage. Says, well, that's only a very blatant damage. Ramari Amar, Bekutra, that's only smoke damage. Rav Zid Amar, Bebesa Kisei, that's only. A damage like an outhouse. Now, just getting on the way on the night here tonight, which we will learn Be'ez the Sashem Tublat, because the reason why we're learning Tublat tonight is because Monday evening there will not be a shear. We're doing it a little bit ahead over here. Monday evening there won't be a shear. It's good date night for those that won't be coming to Avenue J. It's a shot if you won't come to Avenue J because. Uh, we're going to have a very supersonic questionnaire. Yisrael Fisher is going to use his radiophonic voice to ask uh, the questions uh, at, uh, at the Irgun Shirei Taira as we have our annual uh, Q&A. Uh, and again, people can still send me by text to my phone, by WhatsApp, or by email to rmmwsi at AOL.com, uh, if you have any questions for me to address. We will have a trial run here. Uh, I never did this before, but we will have a trial run here 
in Fairways at 6.20 on Shabbos, where we will uh, practice these questions and see if I know what I'm talking about. Um, uh, if I don't know what I'm talking about, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do, but we'll see. Nipal hanimtza b'soy chamish mama. Uh, if a uh, small bird, a young bird, is found within 50 amas of Aaron Sway's dovecoat, so then you have to give it to Aaron Sway. If it's more than 50 amas, so then we say it comes from the world at large. And since the world at large, we don't know who it is, doesn't have a simon, harihu shall might so. So then, finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Nimsa bein shnei shei If it's found in between two duff coats, so kav lezeh shaloi. If it's closer to Aaron's duff coat, it belongs to Aaron. Kav lezeh, if it's closer to Ruvain's duff coat, shaloi. Mechzel, mechzel, if it's equidistant, then shneim yachloiku, then they split it. So now the Gemara asks a Shas question. There are different birurim. A birur is something that uh, helps us uh, resolve a doubt. There's a birur of right. Uh, we go bust in the majority. We learn that out in the Raisa. It says, Akre rabim lahatais. We go after the majority. There's also a birur of Korav, of which, which one it's closer to. Where do we learn that out? We learn that out from the din of Egla Rufa, and that the city that's closer to the homicide has to bring the Egla Rufa for an unsolved homicide. So we see we have a birur of Raiv and a birur of Korav. Which one is better? Is Raiv better or is Korav better? So says the Gemara, let's see it inside. Amra Chanina. Raiv v'karev, if it's Raiv versus Karev, if the majority tells us to go one way, but it's closer, tells us the other way. We go back to the majority. Even though Raiv is biblical, like it says, and being close is biblical, like we said by the Egla Rufa, the the bearer of majority is superior. Says the Gemara, Masa Rebbe Zeira, it says, the city that's closer to the corpse brings the Egla Rufa. Even though there's another city that's further away, but that has more people. So there you see that we go after the closer proximity over the bearer of the majority, says Gemara B'deleka. There isn't a city that's near, that's in, in the range that has more. Says the Gemara V'leiz or Basa Ruba Dalma. But still, we should go according to the majority of everywhere else. The majority of everywhere else says that it's not from this city. Says the Gemara B'yoshevis Bein Aharim. It's talking about that it's an isolated area situated between mountains, and therefore there isn't a rave of the world that comes here. Tanan says, well, well, let's examine our Mishnah. A dove that's found within 50 amas of Aaron Swade's uh, uh, dovecote, Hariyu Shobal belongs to Aaron Swade. Vafal gav de ika achrina de nafesh even though that at a distance, there's a much bigger community of dovecoats, right? At a distance of 200 amas, uh, Marshall has 500 dovecoats. So why do we say that it goes to the closer one? Says, there isn't uh, a larger area. Ihachi says, if it's further than 50 amas, it belongs to the one that found it. But if there's nowhere else nearby, so then why should it belong to the one that finds it? 
It must have came from Aaron's way. So the Gemara says, scratch that. There are other places that are more. But it's talking about a young dove that could only hop for 50 amas. Where it's a dove that only knows how to hop. And therefore, if it's within 50 amas of Aaron's uh, dove coat, there are, there are no other dove coats within that range, then it has to belong to Aaron. If it's more than 50 amas away from Aaron's, then it didn't come from Aaron's because it's hopping. So then <coughs> uh, somebody must have been passing by or something. And therefore, we don't know who, so finders keepers. So Rabbi Yirmiya asks now a theoretical question. By Rabbi Yirmiya, Ragloi achas b'soich nonama, it has one fifth foot within 50 amas closer to, to, uh, to Aaron. Viragli Achas Chutz Mishi Chamishim Amma, and has another foot outside of 50 Amas. Mao, what's the din? Says the Gemara of Al Dof for this far fetched question, Apkul Rab Yirmiya Mebe Midrash. They temporarily threw Rab Yirmiya, not threw, but they temporarily, um, uh, they temporarily sent Rab Yirmiya out of the base of Medrash. What are you asking questions? that are not going to be. That's one shot. But that's the most simple shot. We have again, we, as we welcome in um, Javelin for our 32nd Zoomer of the evening. A shout out to Mark Frankel. We're missing him. He would be 33 and bring, uh, bring Marshall 17 near the promised land. Uh, you know, if, if Marshall gets any closer, Marshall might actually pick up the phone and do something. Uh, the, uh, now, Tajma. Nimsa ben shnei shayvachis. If it's found in between two dovecoats, karv lezeh If it's closer to uh, Ruvain Palik's dovecoat, it's his. If it's closer to Aaron's, it belongs to him. Now, th- doesn't that imply, even though Ruvain's is bigger, doesn't that imply that even if one of them is more, we don't, uh, we, we don't say that it goes boss to the one that's more. Now that's would seem to be not like Rabbi Hanina's rule, because Rabbi Hanina said that if it's Rai versus Karav, then we should go Basa the Rai. Says the Gemara, Hachabah Mayaskin and Shishnei and Shavin. They're both equal. Ruvain's and Aaron's dovecoats are not bigger one than the other. Says the Gemara, Velezel Basa Rubad Alma. But why don't we say it came from the world at large? Says the Gemara Achabamayaskinon Bishvil Shal Kromit. Here, because as as Rashi says, we're talking about here even if they're more than 50 Amas. Right? Just Ruvain and uh, Ruvain and it's between Ruvain and Aaron, but it's even if it's more than 50 Amas. So we're not talking about Medade. So if we're not talking about Medade, it's not talking about a bird that only haps. So then maybe it comes from the world at large. Says the Gemara, here we're talking about a bird that Taka only hops. But it's talking about that in between Aaron and Ruvain is a Shvil Shel Kromen, is a uh, network of vineyards. So when there's a network of vineyards, the bird will go more than 50 amas. But if it comes from far away, the, the network of vineyards won't help because the im isa de me alma osi, if it came from far away, came de bedade, since it haps, 
Because the only time it's going to come is only if when it turns around, it still sees its home. The cold medade, the hadu chazi lekine. If when it happens, even with the uh, benefit of the uh, vineyards, it's only if when it turns around, it sees its nest, it sees its home, it's brash enough to be medade. But v'ilai, but if it's so far, if it's coming from so far that when it turns around, it won't see its home, lay midade. It won't, uh, it won't hop that far. So it's only between Ruvain and Aaron, not from anywhere else. Now, of course, we're just saying now, it's only if Ruvain and uh, Aaron have the same size of network of dovecoats. If Ruvain has a bigger network, then even if Ruvain is further, we would award it to Ruvain because Rai Vikarev, we go Basar Rai. That was the, ru- the rule that uh, Rabbi Hanina said. Now we're just going to pause a moment over here to change the channel.